Wireless directional mics can be quite useful on all kinds of video shoots, but are still rare, and that's why we are going to take a look at the Comica VM30. The Super Cardioid Shotgun mic has a sampling rate of 48 kHz with a bit depth of 24 bit and can be used for on camera recordings with or without a 3.5 mm cable, but of course also completely wireless with a receiver. The microphone is not only meant for video production, but also voice recording or podcasting. Compared to small wireless lavalier microphones, the audio quality of the VM30 is surprisingly good, especially when considering the fact that it's all transmitted wirelessly. Though it's important to mention that there isn't any internal recording inside the microphone for backup. The microphone itself weighs less than 100 gram, even though it's made from metal, which is pretty impressive. It features a button to use low cut filters or a high frequency boost mode, but also to activate a safety track, which will be 6 decibel lower than the original track. The second button can be pressed to pair the two devices, which usually isn't needed. On the bottom is a stepless gain control that can be turned to increase or decrease the audio levels. On the side is a 3.5 mm output and a USB-C port which can be used for charging but also to connect the mic with a phone or computer to record audio. The small screen displays the connectivity, battery status, audio levels and if the safety track is turned on or off. The dedicated shock mount is well designed and it's easy to plug in the mic but also remove it without it being too loose. On the bottom is a hot shoe mount and a 1 4th inch screw hole to mount it to a tripod or boom pole. Physically the receiver is similar to the Boom XD series from Comica. It's a plasticky box with a power button that also serves as a mute button, gain control between negative 12 decibel and plus 12 decibel, but also features a USB-C port and on the top a headphone jack and a microphone port to connect with the camera. All settings are being displayed on OLED screen. The wireless transmission range in a clear field of view was between 70 meters and 90 meters in our tests when the mic and receiver weren't blocked by a person or an object. It's also best to avoid any physical blocking of the signal since dropouts can occur. According to Comica, the latency is supposed to be less than 20 milliseconds, which seems to be a realistic value. During our recordings, we didn't notice any noticeable synchronization issues or delays. The 75Hz and 150Hz low-cut filter modes can be useful in certain recording environments, but we mostly used the frequency boost or simply turned off all filters since the original audio already sounds good. We always double checked which mode the microphone was set to on the mic itself since the receiver doesn't display which filter is active. This is certainly something that would be good to see maybe via a firmware update. On our shoots we used the microphone in different types of setups either via a boom pole or simply placed on a desk or tripod slightly out of frame. The battery of both devices lasted between 5 and 7 hours depending on the settings and modes. It's possible to charge the directional mic while using it via USB-C without any interference or noise issues. What I personally would really like to see in the future model or maybe a VM30 Pro would be internal waveform recording to really get the maximum audio quality. But also have a backup in case of audio dropouts caused by interference or too far distance between the microphone and the receiver. 
Other than that, I was positively surprised by the sound quality and the well-working filter modes.